Hey, this is Ken. I've got some very important information about DJI part number 54. And this is what allows you to have HDMI output from your controller. I've made some videos recently on how to get your Go app to update uh, the firmware on the controller. So if that didn't work and you're still having problems and you updated your FlySafe database and that didn't work and you're still having problems, and you're pulling your hair out, there's another thing that you need to look at, and the problem is right here. Many people are getting frustrated because they don't know whether it's the app, the controller, firmware, the cord, gremlins. Got my handy dandy tool set here, and we're gonna show you exactly where the problem lies. The DJI tech down at Vivid Aerial in Nashville, Tennessee, actually showed me what the problem could be, and I seriously think that DJI should have a recall on these Part 54 modules. I'm going to remove mine from my Phantom 4, not the Phantom 4 Pro, just the regular Phantom 4, and show you that inside there's a problem with the board itself, where the USB has been soldered by some very inconsiderate robot. These parts are mass produced and sometimes there can be mistakes. So once you've removed these hex head screws from the module, you want to get a flat head screwdriver and wedge it in here and ever so gently pry it up. And then tilt it up and then out and it should come right off. There's the module right there. Now you'll need a very small Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws on the board itself. But you don't want to do that just yet. First you'll want to remove these ribbon cables from here, here, and here. There's three places. Let's head over to my microscope so I can show you better. Alright, now we've got it under the microscope here. I can show you this is a close-up of the tab and that little black thing there. That's what you need to pry up. Right there that thing and you can do that with your fingernail but I'll show you with this screwdriver ever so gently just lift that up and that will set this ribbon free this tab on the end of it is what you use to pull and do the same with the other side however you want to make sure that you remove the ones on the sides first. Remove these first, then undo these three screws, and finally this one. So I've got the two on the side undone. Now I'm going to remove the board itself. There's three screws that you need to remove. Now that the board is loose, you can finally remove this last ribbon. Pry this up with your fingernail, then lift the board up and you'll see there's a little bit of slack here. Grab that slack with your fingers and the board is free. So the problem arises when you want to hook up your tablet to your controller and it may not be making a proper connection because of these solders right here. Now let's head back over to the microscope and I can show you what the issue is. All right, this is the USB female end that you uh, join up with your tablet. And just under that is where it is soldered to the board. And you can see that these are machine soldered. And as a result, this can be loose. And these aren't making contact with the board. So if you're having a glitching problem where you, where you can't see your app, where it comes in and then goes out, this right here is more than likely the culprit. Also, your USB could be a little bit loose, and that could be what's causing intermittent uh, app problems. Something else that you can do to make sure that this is making good contact, see how it's kind of loose there? James at Vivid Aerial showed this to me. There are these metal parts right here in your USB female end and you can actually just take a screwdriver and bend those down a little bit and you could do the other side as well 
just push these down and then that way when you put your USB back in there it'll be a little bit more snug well there you go I thought this was important to let you know about if again all else has failed you've troubleshot and it's not the app it's not update it's not firmware it's not the cord you don't know if it's the cord then it could be your DJI part 54 this is something that you can repair yourself if you're confident in your soldering then go ahead and give it a shot or you can contact James over at Vivid Aerial and he can fix you up lickety split thank you James for pointing this out to me and DJI if you're watching come on come on let's get with it here it's better products we need these things thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Buh and bye.